Okay, so here's the problem. A random sample of 100 full-time workers, 29 admit that they regularly play computer games at work. Is this sufficient evidence to conclude that more than one-fourth of full-time workers regularly play computer games at work? We use a 0.01 level of significance, that's alpha, and a 98% confidence interval. Okay, let's take a look at this problem in terms of the concepts we've been talking about for a long time. In this case, an element is the full-time worker. Variable, whether or not the person admits that he or she regularly plays computer games at work. Values, yes or no. It's just a binomial variable. Population, all full-time workers. The parameter is the popula population proportion, just P. The sample is just the 100 randomly selected full-time workers and the sample proportion, which is p hat. Do we have enough evidence to conclude that more than one-fourth of full-time workers regularly play computer games at work? It's population proportion. We want to know if we have enough evidence to conclude that it's more than one-fourth. That's the same as saying greater than 0.25. That's our research hypothesis. The null hypothesis then is the proportion is equal to 0.25 or P less than or equal to 0.25. Okay, the next thing we'll do is formulate a decision rule, which is reject the null hypothesis of Z test is greater than 2.326. Remember the research hypothesis was that P was greater than 0.25. That's a one-tailed test, and we had a level of significance of 0.01. After that, we'll compute our test statistic. Our general formula here is the effect divided by error, or statistic minus hypothesized parameter over standard error. In this case, the statistic is p hat, the sample proportion, minus pH, which is the hypothesized proportion, divided by standard error. Make sure you use the hypothesized proportion in this one. So we've got 0.29 minus 0.25 divided by standard error. We come out with 0.92, which is not greater than 2.326, so we're going to fail to reject A. After we fail to reject OCHO, we'll come with our conclusion, which is that the proportion of full-time workers who regularly play computer games may be less than or equal to one-fourth of full-time workers. At least, it's plausible. Take a look, look at this from the p-value approach. See, I have the sampling distribution here. The center is equal to the hypothesized proportion, or 0.25. I'm shown here the calculation for the standard error, which is 0 0.043. We have a distribution of the sample proportion. The sample proportion that we did get was 0 0.29. That was 29 out of 100. And associated with that is a z-value of 0.92 and 0.04 divided by the 0.043 standard error. And if you look up in the z-table, you'll end up with a p-value of 0.178. So that means that the population proportion is 0.25. That is, if the null hypothesis is true, then there's about a 17.8% chance of obtaining a sample proportion of 0.29 or more. That is the sample proportion that we did observe. So we're going to fail to reject HO. Is our sample size large enough? Well, yes it is, because both the number of yes answers, which was 29, and the number of no answers, which is 100 minus 29 or 71, both are greater than 5, so the sample size is large enough. Can we now compute that 98% confidence interval? First thing we'll need to pay attention to is that when we compute the confidence interval proportion, it's not tied to a specific hypothesis. Therefore, we use the sample proportion, not the hypothesized proportion, to calculate the standard error. So it's to be a different standard error than we used for hypothesis testing. So we'll have our statistic p hat plus or minus the confidence coefficient, which is z, times the standard error. 
The confidence coefficient for 98% is 2.326, and note in the confidence interval that we're using the 0.29 and the 0.71 that's based on the information in this sample. And doing a little bit of math, we come up with a confidence interval of 0.184 to 0.396. That interval includes 0.25, and so we can then conclude that the population proportion, at least it's plausible, the population proportion could be less than or equal to 0.25.